I don't feel quite ready to make this video. Um, but then again, I haven't felt quite ready to make the last couple of videos. <laughs> and if I keep thinking back, I haven't felt quite ready to make any of my videos. And now I've made over 200 in the past couple of years. Um, so my encouragement to you is to look at my own example. And, and you know what's interesting I found is that the videos where I felt most sure of, where I felt most prepared, I've got all my talking points down, they oftentimes were not the videos that people really liked. And on the other hand, the videos where didn't feel quite ready, but I had a, an inkling of a message. Maybe I had a few little talking points and I just, I just spoke it in, in my authentically imperfect way. Um, oftentimes those, those videos were the ones that people loved the most. So I'm not saying that taking imperfect action means that you'll get the best results possible. That's not the point. The point is that when we, and the point is that we don't actually know um, especially when it comes to content creation, uh, when conditions are perfect for us to do something. And uh, this, the, the other point I want to make is that we learn the most when we take action. Isn't that right? Versus thinking that we have to get this, get, uh, go through this additional training program, get additional certificates in order to be able to take action. I am always, I, I've been for a long time, uh, biased towards action, learning in the real world instead of learning in the classroom. Now, some learning in the classroom is helpful, especially when the learning is experiential, but I really want to encourage you to consider biasing yourself for action as well. To take, to, to, do, to do the work even when you don't feel perfectly ready, when you don't feel optimal. Uh, you know, I, I think of it like even on a day-to-day -day basis, even though I don't feel good, but, I, but I, I'm, I am committed to action. I take the action anyway. And a lot of times, I feel better after I take the action, right? After I do the work, after I do my best to serve, serve my purpose or to help other people. Um, really one and the same thing, but either directly helping someone or doing something that leads to helping others. So, um, Here's the, here's the thing, if you don't bias yourself for action, you will tend to um, believe the fantasy that there is some perfect conditions and some perfect training that will get you to, to what you need. Okay, I'm going to keep this video short because uh, there's another dog coming and Buddy's going to start barking. But until the next video, this is George Cow, encouraging your, you to bias yourself for action and learn in the real world.